What I want to show you is how 3D shapes are actually 2D shapes that have been folded up. And the 2D shapes, uh, the drawings you can see them, the, the blueprints, are actually called nets. That's what we call them. So the 2D shapes are called nets. And to draw, to show you which one of these are the nets, I'll draw some arrows. So these are the nets and also going all the way down here. That is also a net. You see they're all 2D shapes. If you fold up the net in yellow, you actually form the cube you can see on the right. How does that work? Well, this central square would be the floor. These four squares around it would be the sides. So here's the floor of the cube, and then you've got the four sides here, and here, and then finally you've got the roof over here, which is now the roof of the cube. In the same way, for a square-based pyramid, which is a pyramid where the base down here is a square rather than a triangle, so here's the base, which is the base of the 3D shape. And the 3D shape is up here, as you can see. And the four sides, I'll label S, are the four sides of the new shape. And there we are. But how about you have a go this time? Here's the net in the bottom left in green. What is the 3D shape that you would form if you folded up that 2D shape and glued it all together, I'll draw it bit by bit, a bit like Rolf Harris. Can you see which shape it is? It would be a triangular prism, a triangular prism. And if you don't quite believe me, I'll label the sides just so you can see. Right, this would be the floor, the floor. And on our shape, it's the thing that goes across down here at the base, the floor. Right, not flower, floor. And the back would be this rectangle here, which is now the back there. The two sides I'll label S, and there they are. And finally you've got the front, which would be quite hard to draw on there, but you realize it's the rectangle going across like that. Okay, but what if I gave you the measurements of the net, and then your challenge was to find the volume of the 3D shape? Let's have a go. Let's call that length here three centimeters. This side four centimeters. And this length here, 10 centimeters. What would the volume of the 3D shape be? The first thing is to really test your and practice your visualization of nets. If you imagine that the floor would be folded up and joined together with the sides. Now that three centimeters would now be the three centimeters along here. The four centimeters, which goes along the back, is now the height, the height of the triangular prism. And the 10 centimeters, which goes along the front, is now the 10 centimeters of the depth of the triangular prism. Just lastly, how would we find the volume? Well, as I showed in a different video, to get the volume, you need to find the cross section, which would be the triangle highlighted, times by the length. What is the area of that cross, cross section? Well, if we got a bit of space up here, it would be um, four times by three for the triangle. Four times by three equals 12. Don't forget to half it though, because it's a triangle. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 
So I hope you'd agree that the area of that triangle will be 6 centimeters squared. And finally, we times that by the length to get the volume of the triangular prism. 6 times by 10 is 60 centimeters. And what's the units for a volume? It would be centimeters cubed. Now, there are many different nets. Actually, one interesting thing I found out recently is that you can't have a net as a, of a sphere. A sphere is the one shape you can't really pin down with a net. But all other sh 3D shapes have nets, which are 2D drawings, which you can fold up to become 3D shapes. Why might that be useful? Well, if you wanted to actually design your own 3D shape just using paper, you'd have to have first a net of that shape.